This problem is about writing reciprocals of whole numbers as a sum of reciprocals of other whole numbers. But there's a twist. We're only allowed to use reciprocals of triangle numbers to form the sum. This was the algebra problem on BMO2, and there are two key algebraic steps that underpin the proof. The first of these is a neat way of rewriting numbers of the form 1 over k times k plus 1 as 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1. While we're here, let's deal with something similar, even though it's not directly connected to how the triangle numbers were written in the problem statement, we can also write 1 over k times k minus 1 as 1 over k minus 1 minus 1 over k. As a sanity check, let's just check we've got this the right way round. k is larger than k minus 1, so 1 over k minus 1, the reciprocal, is larger than 1 over k. So we have done this right. When we subtract it this way, we do end up with a positive number. OK, so now we can move back to triangle numbers. Let's write tk for the kth triangle number and apply our formula from above. This means that the reciprocal of tk can be written as 2 over k minus 2 over k plus 1. And this is going to be useful in what follows. The next key algebraic step is to add up several consecutive terms of this form. So we've got 2 over k minus 2 over k plus 1. That's a reciprocal of tk. Let's take the reciprocal of the next triangle number. That's going to be 2 over k plus 1 minus 2 over k plus 2. And we'll have one more. 2 over k plus 2 minus 2 over k plus 3. And let's have a look at what's going on in this sum. We have some cancellation. We've got a minus 2 over k plus 1 here that will cancel with the plus 2 over k plus 1 in the next bracket. And we can do the same for the next term too. Here we've got minus 2 over k plus 2 that's going to cancel with plus 2 over k plus 2 in the next bracket. So what happens if we keep doing this forever? We can keep adding up terms of this form, and every term is going to cancel eventually, leaving only the first term, 2 over k. That's useful. That's very useful, because we've got rid of a lot of terms, but there are a couple of problems. The first problem is that we've got a 2 in the numerator, whereas we're aiming for reciprocals that just have a 1 in the numerator. The more important issue is that we've just performed an infinite sum, and this problem is about finite sums, so we're going to need to make a couple of tweaks to this to make it work for the problem. The thing is, we can actually just do a finite sum. This is the reciprocal of tk, this is the reciprocal of tk plus 1, so let's continue until the reciprocal of t l minus 1. So the final term in our sum is 2 over l minus 1 minus 2 over l. So 2 over l minus 1 is going to cancel with the previous bracket that I haven't actually written in this sum. And what we're going to end up with is 2 over k minus 2 over l. Now this kind of sum, 
where you have lots of terms and there's cancellation between consecutive terms is called a telescoping sum. And it comes up in lots of contexts in mathematics as a way to write something relatively complicated in an eventual quite simple form. And we'll use this to finish the problem. Let's recap what we've been able to do so far. We've shown that a finite sum of consecutive reciprocals of triangle numbers going from 1 over t k up to 1 over t l minus 1 is equal to 2 over k minus 2 over l. We haven't yet mentioned n, which is part of the problem statement. The goal is to make a sum of reciprocals of triangle numbers equal to 1 over n. So let's see if we can find a cheap way of doing that. What we'd like to do is to choose k and l suitably in terms of n to end up with a formula that says that 2 over k minus 2 over l equals 1 over n. And this is the moment to use our second difference formula that we established at the beginning. So clearly we're going to have to convert this k into an n, but then if we move this term, 1 over k or 1 over n, to the left, and this term, 1 over n, n minus 1, to the right, let's write down here what we get. We get 1 over n minus 1 minus 1 over n times n minus 1. All that remains is to deal with the factor of 2 in the numerator. But that's actually quite straightforward. We can just take k to be 2 times n minus 1 and l to be 2 times n times n minus 1. And these 2's in the definition are going to cancel with the 2's in the numerator and we're going to end up with exactly the expression we want. So this tells us how to write 1 over n as a finite sum of reciprocals of triangle numbers. We just take a consecutive sequence of these reciprocals of triangle numbers going from 1 over the 2n minus 1th triangle number up to the 2n times n minus 1 minus 1th triangle number and that will achieve exactly what we want with the sum of the reciprocals being 1 over n. And that finishes the problem. We should also remark that the general study of when it's possible to write a given rational number as a sum of various distinct reciprocals of integers without the restriction to triangle numbers, that's an interesting general topic in mathematics. If you're interested in this, you can look up the topic called Egyptian fractions and learn a bit more about this.